Hi, I would like to demonstrate some of the very useful and very unique features of Team Remote ASP Debugger Pro. First, I'm opening a site. This is a, uh, I'm opening a, a, a file from a remote site through a map drive. And I see the breakpoint in it. And I open, uh, and I open also an include file. And go to this function, which opens record set. So we can inspect the record set fields. Uh, make sure the URL points to the site that you want to debug, and we start here from the default ASP, even though we have a breakpoint in an include file. Now uh, I click run. Okay, Internet Explorer opened up. Here it is. It's connecting, and the breakpoint is hit here. Now this is a remote debugging happening on an um, actual live production site. Uh, on the server I have the server side of the debugger installed and this particular virtual directory configured to be debugged uh, while others are left alone uh, completely not knowing that there is a debugger installed. So this is how you could really have a granular access to your site and make uh, only a certain part of it debuggable uh, others uh, are not. Although usually I do recommend people installing it on a uh, development site especially if their production site is way too busy. Mine, it's not It's not like cnn.com so it's not a busy site so I can afford this. Now I'm stepping in here I'm stepping into a an include file, stepping out, and I want to show first of all. Okay, let's let's click run. Here's our breakpoint hit in this function, which opens the record set. Now the record set is open. I can mouse over, so you can see few tips like this which are very useful and I'm going to resize it a little bit so it fits our little window here okay here's what I want to show I want to show this record set object in the local in the locals panel because this is what you're going to be usually inspecting as you can see I'm just expanding the fields and you can see each field shown as a name value pair with name on the left and value on the right and the current variable panel shows a full value as a text you can copy it from here and really inspect and have a better idea of what's in it. So this is very unique to Team Remote ASP debugger because no other debugger actually allows you to see the field of the value and the field name and the value like this. Because as you know, to get the field name, you need to type in something like well, you can type in here, but you have to type in RS fields dot name, something like that. Okay. And it's going to be really time consuming to type that manually for each field every time. So this is very useful feature. Number one. Uh, let's step out. So we don't need record set anymore. Let's step out again. Now I want to show you the request query string. This is the query string. Let me just refresh. Here it is. I just typed it in to, for demonstration purposes. So you can inspect your form uh, values and query strings this way. Uh, server variables, if you are curious enough about to know what they are, are also shown as name value pairs. And 
I want to show you session variables. And these are all the session variables I have. So this is this is really curious. And actually you can change it, I think, like this. Yep. So I click that and I click the update here or because sometimes you can't change. And it's not it's not because of the debugger, it's because of of a particular code or protection of an object and stuff. Same thing goes with application objects. Well, right now there are, there aren't any so. So this is the, this is the basic. This is what I wanted to show. I find those features very useful, and I use them all the time myself. Another thing I want to show is is this uh, unique steps panel, where every step we took is registered here. So you can revisit them. For example, if you're stepping too fast, you can uh, you you sometimes wish to have this functionality where you could just easily click and, and see like where where are you like in the code, how did it go, you know, how did you step through, go back and forth really real quick and uh, Make sure, for example, that in this if, well, we didn't step through here, but if we did, we would have seen it. So this is an interesting feature, also very unique. And another feature I want to show you is an IntelliSense. But for that, uh, I'll stop debugging. And because I wanted to edit it. And let's say... Let's say you type in request. Here it is. And if you see, uh, the IntelliSense panel appears with all the values in it. You can use arrows, arrow buttons to move it up and down, enter, and you paste it into the code. So this is an interesting, uh, I find this implementation of IntelliSense more useful because, the, as you can see, the IntelliSense panel doesn't disappear. And you can actually, sometimes I find, like when I'm debugging with Visual Studio and stuff, that I, I don't know exactly what to type in and to go up and down or, you know, click somewhere out of it, but I'm really, with their IntelliSense, I'm really fixed to this particular state. I have to really make a selection. So, I implement my IntelliSense this way, and this panel also has an additional feature. You can just inspect any ActiveX object and it has a, a, a list of all, the, all objects we inspected. So, and this way you can really familiarize yourself with uh, any ActiveX object on your system that you want to use. And I find it also useful. And the uh, important thing is nothing here is hard-coded. This is actually the method taken from what's called a type library of an ActiveX object and you, there, there is an API to, to, to ask that particular uh, ActiveX object for its properties and methods and so th this is how it's implemented. So that was very uh, useful feature also that I find that I use quite often. So this is really the basic features I wanted to show you. This is a remote debugging scenario where you can step through, step through, include files, inspect uh, record sets, the fields and as a name value pairs, and uh, check the steps, use IntelliSense, jump on functions, and uh, there's also a call stack here. And, uh, well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.